back in the workshop and here I have another open faced helmet from my collection. This is the Built Well Bonanza. Now I have to confess, I have a liking for Built Well helmets. I already own two others, a Gringo and a Lane Splitter. Although, this is my first open faced helmet from Built Well. Now I have to say, there is an issue of certification for this helmet. It is DOT certified, which means although legal and safe to wear in the USA, and many other countries for that matter, it's not legal to wear in the UK and some European countries, as the standard here in the UK is ECE. This I believe is purely a legal issue which you will need to consider if you ride in the UK or Europe. Some built well helmets carry both certifications but currently not the Bonanza. That said, I believe it doesn't make it any less safe. And the reason I say that is, for example, the Gringo was originally DOT, and then it was made fit for ECE approval. And I believe they did it without any modifications. To be honest, I believe it's just approval red tape. I do believe Biltwell are considering applying for ECE approval for this helmet, but currently it is still only a DOT. So that's the legal bit over. After looking over this helmet, the construction is excellent. Now I always like to compare my helmets with that of the Bell Custom 500. You see, I believe the Bell Custom 500 is the benchmark for open faced helmets. Now this spillwell is excellent. Just looking around, they can see the paint finish is superb on this ABS outer shell. The liner is also lovely and is hand sewn and padded lycra with a diamond stitching. The strap is that classic D-ring, but the fastener is a bit of a letdown, it's a cheap plastic press stud. On the front of the lid, the classic press studs are there to fit either a peak or a visor that are also readily available from Biltwell. Now the fit of the helmet is not like a big oval or as pronounced as the Bell 500. It's got less of an oval and dare I say I think it's more comfortable because I'm going to say something controversial now I think it's better than the Bell Custom 500. For me, it's more comfortable and it's just nice to wear. And the Bell Custom 500 is twice the price. So, controversial I know. Over the next few months, I'll be reviewing a range of open faced and retro helmets. So, subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell if you would like to be kept informed of when I post. BFN, bye for now.